Top 10 Hidden Secrets at Disneyland In this video, we'll let you know about the hidden secrets of Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a small world, Sleeping Beauty Castle and many more, so stick with us till the end of the video to explore all these hidden secrets together. A lot of secrets are hidden in plain sight. You just need to look where to look to find them. Now, let's go on a little scavenger hunt and discover 10 hidden secrets and details at Disneyland. There is so much to cover, so let's right jump into the video without any further ado. Number 10 is Pirates of the Caribbean. If you've ever been on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, you have most definitely noticed the skeleton props. What you probably didn't know is that some of these skeletons are real. When the ride first opened in the late 60s, skeletons from the UCLA Medical School were used instead of fake props due to the fact that they looked more realistic. Today, only one real skeleton remains. Look for the skull on the headboard of the bed. That's why it looks so realistic. Secret number 9 is, it's a small world had water poured in by children from all over the world. When Walt Disney was planning the opening of the It's a Small World ride, he invited children from different countries to come to the opening of the ride. He told them to bring a jar of water from their homeland, which he had then dumped into the ride's canal. Walt Disney's little touches made Disneyland the truly magical world it is. And this is just one example. It means, when on the ride, you're traveling across the many waters of the world. Number 8 is Sleeping Beauty Castle uses paint to make it look bigger than it actually is. Disneyland Sleeping Beauty Castle is a mere 77 feet tall. The warmer pink hues are used on the lower towers and the team gradually added blue to lighten the colors near the top to make it look big and grand. That's cool. Number 7 is Davy Crockett's Explorer Canoes are not on a track. Critter Country guests can board a 20-person canoe and explore the areas around the rivers of America in Tom Sawyer Island. Many parkgoers believe these canoes are on a track, but they are not. This is the only Disneyland attraction that is solely powered by guests. Secret number 6 is Carnation Cafe at Disneyland Park features one of Walt's favorite meals. Obtained from Walt's oldest daughter, Diane, and the Walt Disney Family Museum, the savory recipe comes from the Disney family cook who was able to perfectly balance the meat and beans for Walt. Number 5 is the Matterhorn ride has multiple functions. Inside the Matterhorn, there is a basketball court for the employees. It is also possible to repel off the Matterhorn. You have to pay extra for it and arrange for a guide. But it could be worth it to say you climb and repelled off the side of the Matterhorn. There is also water at the end of the Matterhorn. When they were building the ride, they could not figure out how to make the ride slow down. So they used water resistance. It just added an extra touch to the ride. Number 4 is one horse on the carousel is dedicated to someone special. One horse on the carousel is named Jingles. It was dedicated to Julie Andrews and it is themed in her favorite acting roles and favorite colors. You can ride it just like the other horses, so you better be the first one at the gate to catch Jingles. Number 3 is the New Orleans Square train station plays a special message. If you listen closely while waiting to board the Disneyland Railroad at New Orleans Square, you'll notice that there's Morse code coming from the small train house across the tracks. The message that's being relayed is the first two lines of Walt Disney's opening day speech at Disneyland. Number two is, there are apartments in Disneyland. Walter Disney had two apartments in Disneyland, one above the Pirates of the Caribbean ride and one above the fire station. He always kept a lamp on in one of the above the fire station to let the staff know that they could always come to visit him. Secret number one is, the outside of the It's a Small World has real gold on the facade. The gold detailing throughout the building is, in fact, real 22 karat gold leaf. Not only was the real gold strikingly beautiful against the white building and blue sky, it also served a practical purpose. When it comes to Disneyland, what is your favorite hidden secret? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.